All right, guys, so we're here in the hangar today. We got a crew together. They're sucking down energy drinks, totally stoked to get started in the 401. We're gonna be pulling both engines. I don't say we, I'm just gonna talk about it while they do the work. So we're gonna get the engines off. Um, really wanted to thank Squarespace today. Squarespace heard about what we were doing and they put up $5,000 to the winner of who gets these off the quickest. So we got team red, we got team blue. We're gonna get at it. Oh, and guys, make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you like the videos, turn your notifications on. We have some awesome projects. We have the yacht. So we get a free, free abandoned yacht. It's a free abandoned yacht. Uh, we're gonna be getting that started. So watch out for that video. We also have July 1st, 2nd, 3rd, and 4th Freedom Week. You guys are probably wondering, you know, what's Freedom Week? Obviously, 4th of July, celebrating America but we're also gonna be celebrating Sam flying freedom. What is this? That's a Stolp Starduster, SA300. A lot of people reached out when we had asked during that video what we should name it, and we decided to go along with a lot of the comments, which was, was freedom, you know, because Sam had said it was the way he felt most free and just, you know, kinda disconnect from it all. So it really helped him feel a little more free Airplanes give us freedom. It's gonna be Freedom Week. We're gonna be getting Sam Starduster all put together. He's gonna to fly it on 4th of July. Literally, the first, second, third, and fourth of video every day. Make sure you don't miss it. Now, let's get to the 401. Welcome back to Rebuild Rescue. Ah, that was awesome. You guys uh, got to distribute Jake and Sam here. So let's, let's make this real easy. Uh, pick a number. Uh, pick, pick a number from whoever, uh, whoever gets the right number will be on red. Whoever gets the wrong number will be on blue. Uh, pick a number. Three. Pick a number. Fifteen. One to ten. Sam. <laughs> 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 eight, eight is the exact number. Sam follows directions. Eight is the exact number. So Jake, you're on red. You, <laughs> Mr. 15, <laughs> go over on red right here. So you guys get to pick a side. You win engine one or you win engine two? Uh, we'll take number two. Number two? Awesome. So grab a toolbox, get the tools over there, let's get everything set, and let's get started. I wanted to take a minute and introduce today's video sponsor. Squarespace. Squarespace is your all-in-one platform for building your brand and your business online. Here at Rebuild Rescue, thanks to all the viewers, we've grown so fast. We need a website, so we turn to Squarespace. One of the most awesome things about Squarespace is they're your one-stop online solution. They have member areas, local pickup, online stores, domains, a video studio, along with portfolios and galleries. And if you guys are anything like me, you hate going to multiple different websites and or using different plugins, where Squarespace is the one-stop solution. They have it all. Get your online store, get your domain. One of the other things I'll do is, at the spur of the moment, I think of a domain or I get an idea. I go right to Squarespace, I, I get the domain, and we're ready to go. And buying a domain through Squarespace is awesome because there's no hidden fees or price hikes. With Squarespace, you can create your own online store to sell your merchandise and use their video studio to edit videos at a pro level all at the same place. So get on Squarespace right away, check out what they had to offer and make your business ideas come to life. So guys, if you wanna save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain, go to squarespace.com slash rebuild. Don't forget, you know, here at Rebuild Rescue, a portion of every sponsorship proceeds goes directly to Rebuild Rescue Charities to do great things in our communities. I see Sam cheating already a little bit here. I mean, I'm, I'm not calling anybody out, but I see a couple, uh, I, I see a couple screws that are already I undone. Go in. Oh, look at that. Now I couldn't get them in. I'm He's... not done yet. I see screws <laughs> popped out all over the place here. You ain't competing if you ain't cheating. <laughs> what did you do, Sam? That's good enough. <laughs> All tools have to be down on the boxes at start. All right, so 
you guys all got your tools. You guys are all ready. All the tools are down, all the tools on the box. You guys have your manuals, right? Each team has a manual. Each team has the identical toolbox, identical set of tools. Except for Sam, he's cheating somehow, trust me. All right, guys, you ready? Let's get at it, let's go. Thank you. How are we looking? Good so far. I just forgot guys, got a brand new bottle of foil just in case anything gets stuck. I use this everywhere now. Even as deodorant. <laughs> Even as deodorant, right. Looks like red team has the spinner cover half off and then the cowling about half off. Blue team has the spinner cover off and the cowling about a quarter of the way off. Got it. Where's the other one? Right here. My cheek panel off. Good. Yep. Yep. Uh, right now we're taking off the the propeller. Okay. Uh, it's mounted right to the front of the crankshaft. Um, oh, so that's what's so it's held on right there. Yep, it's so held once on right here. you get right those here. bolts off, then the propeller's off. Yep, here, pretty much. Oh, sick. What we need? One more. What'd she steal? Johnson bar. What is that? Uh, it's like a giant tool used to remove such screws. It's definitely moving. It just feels like something's off when you're in. You know what the hardest thing for me today so far has been to see all this work going on, and I can't help because you know it's kind of, it's kind of like cheating. You know, I don't I don't think there'd be any corrosion on this airplane at all. So it's probably not that. I think the other side needs your help. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think I'm getting kicked out. Okay. Yep. We got one screw here. What are all these like cool tools you guys are busting out with? I don't have one of these either. When you have strip screws, Give this allows some. you to screw into a fastener hole next to it and use leverage with a ratchet to actually put some pressure on the screw. Windy cranky thing, screwdriver. Need one of those. Corey, make make a note. Ready for some bird's nest? Oh yeah. Let me give your help some hands here. So. If it's not going, force it. <laughs> There's usually a, like a sweet spot where it'll turn it yeah. this way in the right way. It'll pop right out. Yep. So this is that one right, right Nice. That's, that's good. Wait, all right, the dowel pin's starting to come out. All right, yep, it's starting to go. All right, everybody get a blade? There we go. All right. 
the galloping one itself. Yep, there we go, there we go. Alright, don't fall backwards. Nice. You good? That's the first. Thing. Yeah. We just won. Stop. That's the first thousand over here. First task. No, that's not how it works. <laughs> first task uh, was to get the prop off. They got the prop off. Team Blue at this point is ahead. What are you guys thinking? Did you have some trouble with it? Was it pretty easy? Team yeah, so we were having a little bit of issue once we got the, um, the self-lock and nuts off. Okay. Um, so on this prop flange, there's a hole for a dowling pin that's on the prop hub itself. It's right here. So we were fighting, we were fighting those most of the time. Um, we just had to keep welding it, use the air coil, um, and then you know, slowly but surely it came out. It came out, yeah. I, I, yeah. Like the whole, so we're over on this side. These guys were kind of wondering what was going on because the whole airplane's rocking. Like I, I think, I think TJ <laughs> fell on the ground a couple times. You knocked him like off, off the engine well, we, over there. We feel bad for the red team having TJ on it, but oh, <laughs> man. oh man, it's getting, getting tough in here. So they caught it too, though. They didn't pull the whole cowling off yet. Uh, that wasn't we pulled the, the entire. That house. wasn't the assignment. Well, but, we understood but, the assignment. It's in the procedure. <laughs> hey, you guys oh, didn't follow the AMM. Oh, oh man. Step one: remove the calories. So, so I mean, can, I always follow every procedure in the manual when I'm working the 401. But it, it looks like it, it looks like Team Blue might not have followed that. I, I don't know. Is that like we, a? No, we removed the cow. We removed. The, the nose part of the cow. Oh shoot! Uh, Did it say the entire cowling? All right. So, um, the the cool thing though is if you guys have the whole cowling, then once you go to the next stage, you're going to be a little we're more be ahead. ahead. Yeah. It was so so they that that puts a little more ahead. Stuck screws yet. Yeah. They didn't have to fight oh, the stuck that's screws. Right. From the, that's right. The hey, lower did cowling. you guys bring your Johnson bar? No. We oh did gee, not. I wonder where the Johnson bar went. <laughs> uh. <laughs> what Johnson bar? <laughs> but I can say that this cowling was was off a bunch of times, that one wasn't. So this one probably will come off a lot easier. But anyway, are, are you guys, you guys already, so stage two, what is stage two? I guess stage two is actually having the motor off, right? Accessories. Motor, ah, I'm terrible having the engine off. Cause the accessories are pretty much behind there. So this is gonna be probably the longest, uh, longest stage. So let's get back at it. Let's see you get this motor off. Motor, motor, oh, engine, engine. All right, Kevin. So what's what? What are you what are you trying to look for? So we're just going. You know, we got our manual here, uh, maintenance manual for the 401, and we're gonna go to the section where uh, it talks about the engine removal and uh, start hacking away at it. All right, last bolt, we're gonna need all hands. Spin up. Go back, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. All right, we're off, oil, lock it. All right. I was connected to it. Back bolt. All right, down. Since they're a little bit behind, you know, I did most of the work by getting that back plate off. <laughs> Get the exhaust unbuckled now because that's going to be our biggest time item, and then I'll start working on sensors. Right. Yeah, you guys definitely got a little bit of the short end of the stick, being that you have a lot more um, bird crap to deal with. We're, we're to the point where we're, we're taking accessories and stuff off, but we're taking accessories or engine first. You guys can pull off. I mean, for me, like the way that I would do it is I would take the accessories that are in the way off first and then the engine. Um, and then I would take like the rear accessories off when this is out of the way. Okay. So, and I think that's fine. Um, in reality, it's the, it's the very end product, right? So, um, so yeah, do it however you guys want to do. Obviously, once one of these engines 
is over on that engine stand over there. That's stage two, you guys are done, but you still got stage three, which is getting, making sure this is bare. So no turbo, any of that stuff is, is all off. When they do, they have these cool little cracks that show up. Yeah. We're getting out the headlamp. Yep. Yeah. Trying to get this uh, oil temperature disconnected. Give me a screwdriver. Shh, quiet. Stop looking over here, Harrison. What are you doing? I'm, I'm just uh, seeing, no, no. I'm what are seeing you doing? what's loose here. Yeah. I warned him. <laughs> Fine, <laughs> whatever. Tell which engine got more attention, oh not this one. Oh my gosh. A few weeks ago when we pulled, after we pulled these tires off the 401, I had a bunch of people reach out and mention they would love to buy one. So what we're gonna do is when this video drops, these tires are signed by me and they are on eBay right now. So get on there, bid them up. All the proceeds are gonna go towards the 401 project. Thank you guys. It's a little different than working on my Subaru. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? It's gonna be close. Speaking of close, I'm kinda hungry. I'm gonna go get you guys lunch. Safety wire kept it on, so that's always good. Run down to Home Depot. And yeah, because we'll both need hardware for that. Can I just get one? Just set. set. Yeah, just. They're close to taking that engine off. Yeah. But they haven't taken off, like, they didn't take off any of this. So we might lose in the engine part. But we might lose in the engine, but I think we'll make it up in. We'll make it up in the accessory. Yeah, make it well, up in the accessory. Well, it's best 2L3, right? Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> While everybody was working really hard on the 401, the guys from Corporate Interiors showed up. They got us this 
awesome bench table like workstation and another table for in the office here <laughs> let's get this all laid out for the guys because i have a feeling that it's not gonna last too long let's go get the guys and gal yeah, we're close low, yeah, low close low. it's going ah, well i got some food over here i think we're probably in a good space here to take a break and uh, go in here and, and get some food. Right. How's it going over here? Yeah. Doing a little bit of a different approach of what we've been told. Nice. Are you, so you're following the manual, is what you're saying, and they're not? We didn't say that. No, we did not say that. They're definitely following the manual. They seem, well, except for Sam, they look like manual following type, type folks. Look at that smirk. He's up to some. <laughs> Sam's always up to some. Just so people can walk past it. <laughs> I'm buttoning mine. Oh, oh, Sam, here's your pizza, bro. Yeah. <laughs> One cheese pizza. Right, is that six inches? Like this. He was checking the tension on the engine hoist per the hoist manual. Uh -huh. There's a supplemental in, in, in 2021 that came out. Is that released by Harbor, that was released by Harbor Freight that we needed in there, so. <laughs> So we just got done with lunch. We had to send Jake out to the hardware store to get some bolts to hold the flanges down on the engine stands. So glad, to, I don't know who thought of that, I didn't. Um, so he's off. Unfortunately, that looks like I may have to come no. over on the red team no. and help them because they're down one person. No. Um, so we're all full, we're good to go. Let's get at it. No. What's next? Wires? Yeah, we can just get this out of here. Yes. Okay. All the posts are disconnected from the back of the engine. There's a drain line, two drain lines on the bottom that we need to disconnect when we lift the engine up. Julian has already broken the safeties and cracked all of the Lord mounts loose. Okay. Um, and all the hoses, vacuum tubes, everything that was connected is disconnected. Okay. And we've got the, the leveler on there, so we're actually ready to a point where we can actually put the hoist on and start lifting the weight up. start loosening these mounts. We're going to loosen the front mounts first to let the front of the engine come up. Okay. Once that stops, we'll go to the back and we'll start loosening the back mounts. Now because these are, this is a cradle mount as opposed to like a tubular firewall mount, the engine, even if these bolts are out, the engine's still sitting on the mount. So we're not really limited by pulling the engines, but we left the bolts in and left them pretty much tight so we had everything secure and stable before we started getting the engine off. Cool. So. Give it a couple pumps and we'll just lift the front of that engine up a little bit more. Perfect. That's good. Good. Yes. Down now? Yep. Alright, stop! Yeah, we see. 
You may have won the battle, but you haven't won the war. I know. <laughs> Team Red has uh, has their engine out. I'd like to think it would have something to do with me coming over, but really, I just loosened two fittings up, and TJ did all the work. This is atrocious over here. <laughs> this looks like, like terrible. Like, look at this. It's bad. It's like, really bad. What's your thoughts, TJ? I'd say you're gonna have a lot of cleanup work when we're done getting these engines off. Uh, we're getting ready to pull our engine off. Oh, you're taking the engine off. You guys have the engine off, don't you? Yeah. I think yeah, they have, they, you have no accessories off. They, so. have the, they have the engine off. And good luck getting some of those accessories off with the engine down. But hey. So I guess when Jake uh, comes back with the engine uh, stand. Yeah, when he comes back with the bolts, we'll put it up on the stand. We'll have a couple guys grab it and we'll pull one of the clevis bolts and lower it down and get stood up. And then one of us will be pulling accessories off of this engine and the other two of us will be yanking all of that out. All right. Jason, what do you think the better strategy is to take all the accessories off before the engine or after? I don't know. Um, I just jumped in because Jake ran to get some bolts. Uh, at the end of the day, it's, you know, we just got to get the accessories off, get that ready to go to the overhaul shop, um, whether you do it up here or over there. I think it's a little bit better to do it where you can move around the engine hoist myself. Um, you know, and obviously, once you're open, like I can, I can work in here no problem. So, I just saw a bird land on the top of the tail of the 401. Did you hear the birds in there? The baby no, birds. No, I just, I know, really. Yeah, there's baby birds. In there. Oh man. So interestingly enough, as we're standing here working, there's now baby birds in the tail of the 401. If you notice, there's owls we put up there. So you guys aren't gonna believe it. They are literally back on the 401, making nests. We even put some of these owls on the tail and they could care less. It looks like the birds are trying to reclaim the 401. I'm not sure how we're gonna keep them out of here. We have this speaker system that's supposed to scare the birds away. They reclaim the 401. There's literally little baby birds in the tail. And I don't have the heart to do anything except for let them be baby birds and they're gonna have to come out um, you know, and then we're just going to have to take it apart and clean it all up. I just remember back in December being out there working on this for the first time and I never imagined in my life that this would be happening, that you guys would all be part of this. Just all the encouragement is amazing. I can't wait to have this up in here. I can't wait to do, you know, to, to have its first mission and for you guys to be with. Try and take them off here because it's a little easier. For me, oh. it is. Oh. Um, Kevin, do you want to use the uh, impact driver for what to uh, remove the uh, inboard side instead of using the ratchet? Oh, uh, well, we can. It doesn't matter. Get this. Try to be. Can we can we send Jake somewhere else? I kind of like wrenching. I mean, I can forget something. I'm just else. saying. Can you, you forget it? Yeah. <laughs> I got a new universal for me too. One, one was just a. Uh, uh, Do the front flip. Yeah. Yeah. 
Alright, can we pull this in over here with the Team's pretty close. Send it. That didn't sound good. Yeah, that did not Oh, you know what it caught? It caught one of the uh, heat shields. Alright, well, safety first. Maybe we just wheel it over there and hope the chain hoist up. Uh, if you can, Jake, grab the two, two of the bigger tires that are in there. My thought was, if we can there, I like Slide it. Slide a tire under him that piece of wood. Yeah, good, good thought. I just want this thing kind of centered like that. Right there, you're thinking? Yeah, yeah. alright. I'll take the clubs out. Send the pieces up. Uh oh. Whoa, all kinds of oil. What is coming out? Train pan. Plug out of there. Got kitty litter.
All right, guys, so there's one engine on a stand. Yep. Now it's just to get the turbo and stuff off. And is that long or is that just slippery? Is that bucket on there good or yeah, is that kind of? It's fine. Got it. All right, two of us roll this back. <laughs> Where are we going? Uh, All right, Jake, stand in front of it and spot. <laughs> goes to fall, break the engine's fall. Catch it. <laughs> Just dive in front. Sacrifice yourself. 401 forever. This ain't just any old airplane. I saw it coming too and I was like, I, oh, that, no. that, you know he's gonna edit that because you're gonna that thing gonna fall. You gotta watch the editors. <laughs> How close are you guys, Jim? We're ready for that thing. Nice. I'll uh, help you guys with it. Oh, this way rough. Well, give room for them to get fast, though. Yeah. Alright, Jake. Good Basically, all you guys have to do is get that off, which is pretty much already off. This off, the exhaust off, and you guys are done. <laughs> that was, hey guys, hey, guys, that was a very evil laugh, I have to say. There we go. Okay. Got one up, working on the other one. Wow, 
so you guys, you guys seem really tired. Uh, we are a little bit. A little bit tired. I'm exhausted. <laughs> exhausted. So Harrison's exhausted. He actually uh, just woke up from a nap in the office. <laughs> All right, red team. It looks like blue team kind of, kind of won. I mean, yes, yes, it's kind of the, I guess the trophy in his hand there. Um, right. <laughs> right. All right, guys. So we got the engines off. That was an extreme amount of work. Had I done that myself, guys, and when you guys, some of you would definitely put in the comments, it would have took me at least six or seven episodes to get the engines off. <laughs> in all seriousness, thank you guys. This looks, it looks insane. I mean, just, you know, there's these two cavities where the engines used to be. It was so much work to get them off. There's parts everywhere. Everything is bagged. Everything is tagged. Everything is marked. Um, I learned so much uh, from all you guys today. Just watching, you know, it was so hard for me not to, you know, not to help, you know, but, but you guys had it. Uh, Blue Team One, thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this episode and for hearing about, you know, what we were doing and putting up that $5,000. It was a really cool thing for them to do. We really appreciate you here at Rebuild Rescue. So, you guys win. You guys are the winners. <laughs> now, I think um, all four of these guys took days off. I think they should each get at least $1,000. Not only did they take day off, but to their knowledge, you know, the other, five, other thousand in the some more else. Yeah, absolutely. You guys in? You guys good? Yeah, we're in. Awesome. I'll Remember, tell you what. I might get them back here again. <laughs> maybe, maybe. I'll actually tell you, uh, you know, what, what we're gonna do. We're gonna take, uh, we're gonna take that uh, the uh, five thousand hours that Squarespace had put up to, uh, you know, help out with this challenge. Um, I, I can't see not giving you each at least a thousand hours for uh, for all the work today. So all you guys, you know, we're gonna make sure you guys each get a thousand hours for helping. Um, you know, it's uh, it's just awesome that you guys would want to come and help. I really appreciate it. And I really appreciate you guys coming along and investing in the channel. Like the videos, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the bell. We're gonna be getting this 401 flying. Hopefully we can get all these guys to come back and help out some more because you guys are freaking awesome. Thank you so much. Take care. <laughs>